dawn of a legacy sponsored by Bank of Zachary and Lane Regional Medical Center. Eli Holstein was born to be a quarterback. Eli's one of those guys that he's got the all the intangible stuff. He tests out in the highest percentage of anyone. So if you want to talk about athletic pound-to-pound -pound quarterbacks, Eli Holstein's name sits atop the list. The way his mind works as far as football is concerned is impressive to watch, but then he's 6'3 and 230 as well. He loves ball, man. That's the biggest thing I can say about him is he is constantly trying to figure out ways to get better. He sets himself apart with his athleticism, and that's what you've seen. You've seen his game grow, whether it's deep balls downfield, whether it's going through his progressions, but what he can really do for Zachary at times, especially at the high school levels, take off and run. Kenny, go quarterback draw. He certainly is a student of the game. He studies it relentlessly. Uh, it is nothing for me three or four times a week to see him during lunchtime sitting in our coordinator's office. We get to that progression. I mean, we're, we're protecting pretty good up front. Watching film it's together. They're going over coverages on the board. If he's going outside, fine. He's he just he's so thirsty for knowledge as far as the game is concerned. If he gets underneath him, he can still just keep climbing. During his junior season, Holstein completed 65% of his passes for 3,228 yards and 30 touchdowns while leading the Zachary Broncos to a 15-0 record in a Louisiana Class 5A state title. He's got a little bit of everything in his game, and I think that's what's worked for Zachary, right? Like, they're a very good high school program. You put a kid like Eli back there at quarterback, and you're going to win a lot of games, and they did just that a year ago. While Holstein had a dynamic junior season, including championships, awards, and accolades, there was something missing for the Alabama commit. A little upset that I didn't get it last year. You know, I was kind of mad at myself for that. Not getting enough votes to be the captain. Uh, and then this year, you know, when I got it, you know, I was overcome with joy. I was beyond happy that I was, uh, that they felt like I was a captain and leader on this team. That means more than any offensive MVP, state MVP, anything that I can get. Uh, obviously, there's something uh, on the inside of you uh, that your teammates felt the need to vote you in as one of our captains. I need you to understand, once those votes took place, you are looked at differently now on this team. This is the way it is. That's, a, that's part of the pressure uh, about being a captain. Everyone watches what you do all the time, whether you're in the classroom, whether you're walking around in the community, whether you're, you're uh, on the field, whether you're in warm-ups before game. Like, it's just different. The recruiting process, it was something that I didn't enjoy <laughs> too much. Maybe I should have enjoyed it a little bit more because I'm just wanted to get it done, wanted to worry about going 15-0 and and winning state, and that's what we did last year. You know, the goal is to go 14-0 and and win state this year. That, in some situations, you may be looking at some problems for this kid's senior year, right? He's grounded enough to look at his future and, and what he feels like he needs to do in order to achieve the best that he can be, and he understands the hatred of LSU fans in Baton Rouge uh, towards Alabama. So he never wanted it to be a deal where he was putting it in the face of the Tiger fans. I mean, hell, his dad played for LSU. His dad was a captain at LSU, right? So he grew up loving the purple and gold. You know, maybe that was the situation that was best for him, what he and his family thought was best for him. This is Porch and Parish, the podcast. Coach Pru is in his 10th year as the Zachary High School Athletic Director and Broncos Head Coach. Also joining us in the booth is the Eli Holstein. There is no other Eli in Zachary. Eli, what's your motto or mantra this season? Going 15-0, winning state, you know, all the awards that I won, you know, especially, you know, that our team won uh, is just the exact opposite of what you want, you know, leading into the season. You know, you want to, you know, have some motivation uh, for the team. You know, we need to be able to motiv motivate each other, motivate ourselves so we can win another state championship. Yeah. Football is a family gathering for the whole team. Eli's dad, Scott, played at LSU. His brother, Caleb, is a student at LSU. And his mom, Amy, always reminds him that football is a privilege. My mom, is hard on me with academics. If I don't have straight A's, then it's a problem. 
B's. If, I'm, if I got a B, I'm a B without a phone, is the way I put it. He's a 4.0 student. He's, he's never made a B uh, since he's been on our campus as an incoming freshman. I have a 4.0 throughout the entire high school career. You know, that's something I want to do. Hopefully I'm in that situation uh, this year. Eli understands the talent in the state and what it means to play for such a prideful community. It's been a dream come true. Um, and ever since I was little, all you want to do is play high school football, play on Friday nights and everything. Uh, and be, to be able to do it for Zachary uh, with his coaching staff and with this team uh, has meant a lot. The relationship that the team and the community have together is very special to me. The Z that's on their helmets, it means a lot to our guys. It means a lot to play for, for our community and, and try to make our community proud of what we're doing. I still feel like it was yesterday that Brewerton took the job at Zachary. And even then, you knew it was going to be a difference maker. He was one of the best coaches in Louisiana at the time. He was considered that next fast riser that, uh, you know, no matter where he was, was putting together really quality football teams. This place for many, many, many years was built on a blue collar, a hard nosed work ethic, and, and, uh, and tough people and tough kids. And so uh, uh, I think that that's still here. Um, we just need to go in there and, and try to pull that out of them a little bit. Are we going to play physical or not? I told you. Execute. The physicality has to be there. You know, when he had started addressing the players that day, he started talking about toughness and physicality and the style of play. You could just feel that something was going to happen. You could just feel that, the, that he grabbed that room with his style of play. And in year one, man, it turned around. It, it, they immediately started bringing that, guy, that type of, uh, that style of play. It's rare to see kind of Baton Rouge get put onto the map. And I think Coach Burton and Zachary have done a huge job towards making that happen and, and putting it up there, even above the U-Highs and Catholics of, hey, we're out there competing as well every year for a state championship. And we're turning out guys who are playing high level football that are running track at LSU, whatever it might be. So. Yeah, I think the, the stamp Brewerton has left already on Zachary and continues to make uh, on Zachary is one that's going to keep that program pretty stable for a long time. On the next Dawn of a Legacy, it's a huge District 5A matchup between Woodlawn and Zachary. We bring it to the front lines. Zachary and Woodlawn prepare for the big showdown on ESPNU in Dawn of a Legacy Battle for the City, premiering Thursday, October 20th at 6.30 on WAFB. Watch digital episodes now on the Jordi Pilato Show YouTube channel, WAFB Plus and WAFB.com. Sponsored by Bank of Zachary and Lane Regional Medical Center.